Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So I want to introduce you to a browser that many few people use or never heard about. So this browser is called Opera and it's been around for a while. It kind of got buried because you know the most popular browsers like Chrome and Firefox and Explorer kind of you know took the spotlight. But this browser has some trick up its sleeve that the other browsers don't have. And it's available for your standard operating system. So you got it for Windows, you got it for Mac, you got it for Linux. There's a beta version and there's a USB portable version that you can take along with you. But also for your mobile browsers. So you have Android and then you got the mini version, then you got Touch and other basic phones. And those basic phones are the ones that usually, you know, those cheap phones that you get that don't have all the full function of the smartphone capability. So now let's look at some of the features that it has built in. VPN. Now VPN is a thing that you can use to protect your privacy while you're surfing the internet. You don't get bombarded with who's tracking you on where you're going on the internet and what you're doing. This is what you need if you want to shield yourself from all that snooping. So that's one thing that's automatically built in and it's free. Most of the VPN services out there you have to pay for, but it's built into the Opera browser. The next feature that this has built in is ad blocker. And we already know how ads pop up everywhere we go and we just can't get rid of them. And nine times out of 10, we download some type of extension to block those ads from keep popping up and bugging you. Plus, you know, they slow down your internet speed when you're trying to surf the internet because ads run in the background and trust me, they slow your browser down and some of them are encoded with spyware and adware and all the other stuff. So with this blocking out all those pesty ads, then you don't have to worry about it slowing down your internet speed. Another feature that's built in is messengers. Now this thing is pretty cool because not only can you get quick access to your Facebook messages, but you can also get quick access to your WhatsApp messages and those two are built in inside the browser. So you don't have to go anywhere. You just click on it, send a message through uh, Facebook, or you can click on the WhatsApp icon and go straight into it and send a message and receive messages from those two messaging apps. So they're built in. See, all you have to do is just scan the barcode that's available through the WhatsApp app from your phone. And you can also connect with your Facebook messaging too. So you can receive and send message while you're on the computer. It has a battery saver feature. So if you're the kind of person that's using your laptop to surf the internet, a lot of that browsing and stuff like that will drain your batteries faster. But this has an automatically built in feature to save your battery so you can last longer, especially when you're using it on a laptop. So as you can see by this graph right here, you can get more of your battery life compared to the Chrome and Explorer browser, which gives you more time to get things done, especially if you're doing your work through the browser. Next feature is browsing faster. Now I have to admit that this thing does do a lot of things much faster. It's got the feature called Opera Turbo. And for some reason, it just boosts your internet speed and it pops up to let you know on the web page to let you know that all you have to do is click here and it would accelerate the connection to make your browsing experience a whole lot faster. And it also has this thing called speed dial. So you can add like little tiles right here on the front page when you first open the browser and click on it and it will take you straight to your favorite website that you usually visit. Of course, you know, everybody out there is trying to protect your safety with security features built into their browser and Opera doesn't slack on that either. So they have some security measures built in. You still have to do your due diligence and protect yourself on the internet, but these browsers try to help you, you know, as you surf the web. So it has this syncing feature and I think Firefox has the same feature too, where you can sync the data that's on your mobile device and the computer so it stays hand in hand and it's a pretty simple step you know whatever happens on your device you can continue doing it on your desktop and vice versa now flow is one of my favorite feature because i use it a lot it's pretty neat how you can share things between the computer and the phone by just copy and paste it into that little flow tab that's on the sidebar and i'm going to demonstrate that in a minute but 
it's neat how it just flows it back and forth because sometimes you have stuff on your mobile device that you're trying to get over to your computer and you want to do it in a quick and easy way and vice versa you might have something on your computer that you're trying to get to your phone and you want to do it like I said the ease and smooth way well this flow feature that's built into the Opera browser make it simple and you can share links image videos and notes between the computer and your device and it works like I said smoothly and setting it up is pretty easy you just scan the QR code from your mobile device and then the connection is complete and you can start sending stuff back and forth between the two devices if you're the kind of person that likes to keep up with the latest news of what's going on the news reader is built in so all you have to do is click on that icon on the left and it will take you straight to the news feed that you would like to read and you can personalize it so you don't have to just take anything that's out there you can customize it to what you like to read and you can read as much as you want to and it will keep updating you don't have to worry about updating it it'll stay up to date with the latest news feed the instant search is another feature that I use a lot too because normally when you're looking for something on the internet we go to Google and we type it in and we find what we need but with the instant search it doesn't matter where you are you can just click on the instant search the search bar pops up and then you can start searching for whatever you're looking for of course you can manage your bookmarks just like every other browser you go in there and you customize the way you want your bookmarks to do you can label them and you can import bookmarks from any other browser that you've been using to make it easier for you to just locate your stuff and it manages them it shows you a little thumbnail and all that stuff if you're the kind of person that like to jazz things up well it also has a customized feature in there so you can go in there and choose different themes and have different background just like you see here on the right and then you can discover more search engine and add them in there too so you don't have to search just Google you can search other search engine that's built in and you can add more different extensions in there to make it a little bit easier for you to surf the internet you know because your internet experience should be nice and smooth you shouldn't have to go to all the hassle of trying to find anything you can add weather if you want to but there's many ways to customize it like they say over a thousand ways we got a snapshot built in so the snapshot is something that you can easily use to snap a part of the website when you're trying to get something or just save something for yourself or you can email it whatever you want to do it but anything you see on the browser you can actually take a snapshot picture of it so the last feature I want to talk about in this browser is the converters so you can set it up to where it converts whatever money you have into another currency but not just dollars you can also do units of measure and time zone all those different things are built into that actual browser so there's a conversion for the measurement see it goes from inches to centimeters and then there's the conversion for the time zone so you can see mountain time versus central time or whatever time that you need to convert to and it's easy to set up you know you just go into settings and set it up and once it's done then you can start doing your conversion by just highlighting okay so when you first open the browser you're gonna see this right here this is your tiles of stuff that you're gonna have down below that is your suggested sites these are the sites that you probably recently went to and it creates a list of the sites that you have seen if you need to remove something you go to the three dots and you say move to trash if you don't want to see something down here anymore on the suggested tile you'll say don't show again or you can add it to speed dial you can open in a new tab you can open in a new window you can open in a new private window but you have all this stuff available to you over here to the right you got the easy setup so you can turn it to light mode or dark mode it all depends on how you want it then you can choose your different themes you know your wallpaper so if you like that one right there you see the background change if you like this one then it changes to that and it changes whatever you like it to change it to all right and there's some more going down there so you can keep going down the list and choosing whatever background suits your taste so going down the list it has show bookmark bar so if you click on bookmark bar it's going to show this bar right here on top of the browser I don't like it so I usually turn mine off you can choose to show the speed dial suggestion or not so if you turn them off you see they're all gone if you leave them on then you'll see it 
This is the news feed. So if you want to see the news, you click this one on and then the news will appear at the bottom just like that. So you can choose the different news if you want to. Once I click off it, you'll see all my news feed will pop up here and I can customize it to whatever I like by clicking the gear. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. You can choose to pin the sidebar if you want to. That's the little sidebar that steers on the left. That's your choice. You can turn on the ad blocker. You can turn it off. You can turn off the flow on and off. So you got all these options where you want the file downloaded. You can clear the browser data. You can import your bookmarks and settings from other browser or you can make it the default browser. Up top, I got a plugin that I install called Amazon Assist. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. This is the share and this is where you get your list of downloads. If you want to see the list of all your tabs that open, you got this tab menu that you can open. Now the sidebar, like I said, is where all the tricks are done. So you got your Facebook Messenger, you got your WhatsApp Messengers, you got your Instant Search, you got your Flow, you got your Snapshot, you got your Speed Dial, that's all this right here. You got your Bookmarks, you got your News, and then you got your History. The cool thing about these messengers built in, you know, once you click on them, it's going to pop up and you can type your quick message and send it off. Or if you receive a message, it's going to let you know that there's a message there waiting for you so you can respond without even going to Facebook. Same thing with the WhatsApp. You can go in there and send a message instantly or you can respond to a message that you receive while you're at the computer. Instant search pops up right there in front of you so you can search a tab or you can just search something on the internet if you want to and it automatically start create the list of stuff that you want to search for the flow let me come back to that one snapshot just like I said it happens just like that so if I want to snapshot that part of the web page I can just click this right here snapshot that capture it and then I can do whatever I want to do with it after that I can add emojis I can uh, use the pen and write all over it. I can uh, take a picture of myself, which I'm not going to do right now. And then I can uh, add different stuff to it, like, you know, stuff like that. So all kind of different stuff you can just do to it. You know, it's your choice. You can blur out a certain part of the picture. You know, if you don't want, you know, it might be something in the picture that you don't want to show. So you can blur it out. So you can mark all over it with different colors. You can take the picture. And then you can uh, add the emojis. And once you do all that stuff, then you can just save the image or you can actually share it. So if you want to share it, you want to go down to a little share icon, click share, and you can send it whichever way you want to send it. So that's pretty cool that it has all this built in because most of the screenshots, all they do is screenshots. They don't really do all this other fancy stuff that you can do with this. Now, like I said, that's your speed dial. If you click on it, it's going to take you right back to your speed dial. There's your bookmarks and there's your news feed that will pop up, you know, kind of news that you like to read. You got United States, you got different language you can choose from. You can add sources. And then you got your history. So let me go back to Flow now because Flow is what I use to send stuff back and forth from my phone to the actual computer. So on your device, you want to go to the App Store and you want to download Opera Touch. Once you get on the Opera Touch, you want to open that. Once you open the browser, it's going to come to your home page and you see you got all the speed dials and stuff that you can get to. You got your history. But you want to go to this little tab on the left that says my flow once you click on my flow everything that you see on your browser is the same thing you're going to see on your phone so if i want to send a message over say i'm going to say hello world and send that over it's going to instantly appear on the browser right here as you can see so you can send stuff back and forth. So if I go back to the computer and I type the same message back, like saying, oops, it's going to instantly appear on my phone too, because the message is going back and forth. 
Now, one thing I want to demonstrate to you right quick is this little feature that I use a lot too. Sometimes I'm at Walmart and I'm looking for something, for instance. So let's look at the Xbox at Walmart. So say I want to see the price of this one right here. So I would click on this guy over here, the 1S, and it tells me that Walmart has it for $249. But as you can see, it automatically generates a little tab up here to let me know that Amazon also has it for $249. So based on shipping, I guess I'm getting it about the same price. So it's no cheaper. So that way I don't have to do a lot of searching as far as to see if Walmart has it cheaper or Amazon. So here's a quick little feature that it also has. I would automatically zoom to the top. So if I click this tab right here, it's going to zoom up to the top and then I click it again. It's going to go back to where I left off. That's just a little trick of the browser right there. It's nothing real whoopy, but maybe that'd be useful for you. You know, you might want to get back to the top right quick. So you can just click the tab. It zooms up. You click it again. It goes back to where you are. And there might be things on the page that you want to compare and, you know, instead of strolling up and down, you can just do a quick zoom to the top and zoom back down where you left off. So that's like a bonus feature I just wanted to show you. I discovered that one day by clicking on the tab by accident. Okay, so there's one more feature I want to talk about in this browser before I close out this video. I almost forgot. So if you're watching a video on a web page and you want to go and seek something else while you're still watching the video, this browser has a pop out feature where the video will stay on the page wherever you go. As long as the tabs stay open, the video will continue playing. Doesn't matter what page you go to or whichever browser you go to and it's resizable. So if this video is playing right now, I can click this little tab that pops up up top right here and it will pop out the video and the video pops out right there. You can resize it. So whatever size you want it to be, you can resize it and put it to wherever you want to on the desktop. So now I can go to a different tab. Remember, you gotta keep this tab open so I can go here and check out my news feed. I can go here and check out some news. And this works on any web page you go to. So if I go to YouTube, I can bring up my channel for instance and I can watch this video. And if I switch, all I have to do is click here and the video switches. So it switches from the other video was playing and now I can still surf YouTube while I'm watching my video in the corner. And that video is going to stay down there as long as I don't close the tab. Because once I close the tab, like you see, the video goes away. But if I go back, click on this, and the video pops up in the corner, all I have to do is keep that tab open and I can start surfing other web pages. That was the last nifty feature I wanted to show you about this browser. How you can just pop out the videos and watch them anywhere while you're surfing the internet. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Go ahead and give that browser a shot and see how you like it. If you do, go ahead and leave me a comment. If you don't like it, I would still like to hear your comment, what you don't like about it and what you do like about it. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.